Okay, so let's go out there and take a look at breakout EDU. All right, number one, when I'm going to conferences, uh, there's nothing worse than walking into a session and hearing a sales pitch. Uh, I don't want you to think that this is a sales pitch, but I just want you to know that there are opportunities out there with Breakout EDU to create your own digital locks. It's a really good system. It's very easy, uh, nothing too crazy. Just know if you're going to go out there and buy like a classroom bundle, this is going to be part of it. You're going to get the access code uh, to go out there and have this uh, for a year subscription. Just know any year after that, it's going to be $50. If you're not interested in buying the kits and you just want to go out there and get this platform access code i believe that is a hundred dollars and then every year that you re-up after that it's only going to be fifty dollars so that's the pricing on it uh, in case you are interested in that all right so i just want to take a look here at basically what this platform access gives us all right, and I'm going to just jump over here. I've already logged in, and this is what you're going to see. When you first go in, you're going to see that there are already games that have been pre-designed. Uh, you know, many of these have been created by other teachers, and they're simply going out there and just, uh, you know, making these public so people can use them. Uh, for our STEM field that we're kind of dealing with, we have, like, what, four in here that we can probably use. Career Tech Ed, uh, we have Computer Science, Math, as well as Science itself. Um, and then if you wanted to go out there and take a look at the team building stuff, maybe you need a good icebreaker at the beginning of the year, you have that capability as well. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I took a look at career tech uh, games that were out there. Uh, they weren't all that great. Uh, there really wasn't much dealing with our content. I haven't really taken a look at math or science, but who knows, you might have something in there. I'm not interested in any of these because I want to create my own game, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So when I go out here into my account, I'm going to see that I have the ability to look at my digital games. So if you have created any games uh, or any clues or whatever before this, you're now going to be seeing these listed here. But over here on the right, we can see we have the ability to create a new digital game. So that we're going to do is go ahead and pick on create new and then we can see we have some options we have single lock non-sequential game and we have a sequential game sequential game very simple all right they need to go out there and unlock lock one in order to get to two unlock lock two in order to get to lock three and so on single lock okay maybe you want to go out there and mix this up a little bit have both physical and digital locks like we just did in our escape room so let's just go out there and create a single lock so what we're going to have to do first is, is go out there and give this a name. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to use my last name. So uh, Duzan Escape Room Example. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Submit. And it's going to allow us to begin editing our digital game. So we have the title here. Now we can see we have different lock types. We have text, we have number, directional, shape, as well as color. So when we take a look at text lock, if we were to come down here, all right, we can see that we have uh, a lot of bubbles that we can go out there and basically fill in. Um, so just know whatever is not filled in, um, you know, basically when the students go and use it, all right, it's only going to be the number of bubbles that you filled in. So just keep that in mind. That's sort of the, the rule for all these. So let's take a look here at number locks, same sort of thing. We can see we have the ability to get up to five digit. Once again, if you want a three or a four, just simply leave the bubbles uh, blank. And then when the kids are going out there, it's only going to be asking for a three or four digit instead of the five. So just keep that in mind. All right. So we have directional locks as well. Same sort of thing. All right. We're telling, you know, uh, the combination needs to be just the directional arrows. All right, we have the ability to go out there and use shapes. This is what we just experienced in our own escape room. And we have the ability to go out there and use color. So all sorts of different colors that we can use for the combination required to unlock the lock. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this very simple. I'm just gonna say that this is going to be a uh, text lock. All right, so the lock setup story is, um, yeah, we just tell them, um, you know, solve, for the clue below to unlock lock nine. All right, very simple. Now the lock clue itself, we have the ability to go out there, we can bring in an image. So maybe you wanna create your own clue using your own graphics, whatever. Maybe you wanna create that on Word or uh, go out there and create that on um, like a Google Doc. You can export that image out and then you can just upload that image in. Okay, or we can go out there and use the, the text feature found right here within uh, Breakout EDU, which we'll be doing here in just a minute. Or maybe this needs to be something with video. If you want to just go out there and just do a little video clip, you explaining what this is, all right, sort of like the video um, Daily Double or whatever in Jeopardy, you could do that as well. Okay, so I come out here and go to text, all right, and I'm going to say, I'm just going to use the same example we just had in our escape room. So uh, what type of, in quotes, man does it take to unlock lock nine, all right? So that's our clue for it. We come down here and we just go out there and plug in what we need for that to be. 
So that was going to be super. All right. Once again, bubbles you don't fill in. All right. Don't worry about it. Now at the end. All right. If they get this right. All right. You can go ahead with the standard breakout EDU congratulations message. Once again, you have the ability to go out there and do an image all on your own. You can go out there and create your own uh, sort of uh, message and text, or you can go out there and do a video embed code. Now, what's great is, is that if you want to go out there and maybe the next part of this is going to like a physical lock or whatever, maybe you want to go out there and, you know, take it to a QR code, send you out to wherever the heck it is you need to go. All right. But that's basically it. And then at the very end of this, you go out here and do a save and exit. All right. And then now you know, you're now getting the links that you need for this. Now, Breakout has its own sort of QR system. It's a Breakout uh, tag, and I believe that uses a Breakout EDU app. Uh, but honestly, if you want to keep this simple, you can go out there, just get the game URL, copy that, and go out there and create your own QR code, um, you know, using a QR code generator. And then students can obviously, you know, use, mo you know, use their phones, they can use a computer uh, just to do a QR code uh, reader so there you go that's how simple it is if we want to actually take a look at this uh, once we are done we hit play all right and there's the name of it solve for the clue below blah 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 and once again see how the bubbles have all disappeared all right we go ahead and just you know pop this in okay just like so if i can spell there we go and we go ahead and hit finish and there it goes it takes us to you know the breakout edu uh, finish page so there you go those are just some of the options when it comes to breakout edu and creating digital locks